So today we're going to the Bubble Planet experience. It's right by Wembley Stadium. So check first that there isn't any football or concerts going on. You're definitely going to struggle for parking and crowds. We were actually quite lucky that there wasn't anything going on at the time, but it was really cool. So the actual place itself is actually really, really cool. It's a nice venue. You, as soon as you walk in, like it's just colours and bubbles. And my kids were just straight away ready to start running up and down. And actually, I didn't mind so much because as long as they're running, it means on the way home, they're going to sleep in the car. So um, yeah, this room is actually just the place where you put your prams, but already you can see the colors and the effort and obviously put in, um, it's, it's just a really, really nice place. Now, what I felt was amazing was when we walked into this room, my kids actually were a bit nervous at first, but then once they realized that they could just express themselves, they're running around and on the floor, which is amazing, you can see fishes and bubbles and my kids were just chasing it. And uh, it was just amazing. And to be honest with you, they could probably have spent their whole time we were there in that room because they were just running around and it was just really good. Um, then obviously we went into the next room which was like these massive balloons and my kids were just having such a great time. It was really cool. We didn't stay there too long. Then we went into this other place where there was like a sphere. Um, it was quite nice. It was strange though because the minute you walked in you, you had to whisper because um, I mean my kids were making noise and I was going shush and actually that shush was actually really noisy. So um, yeah, then the next place was like a giant swimming pool of bubbles. Now that was probably the best part. My wife and the kids, they went straight in. Uh, there's a bazinga moment there for my missus, <laughs> which is quite cool. Um, it was just a really, really good place. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people there, but it didn't matter that we actually got to throw our kids around and just basically they had a fantastic time. Um, we stayed in here for quite a while and then obviously it's time for us to go. Um, and then obviously there was this interactive room where you had to blow into a funnel like what my son's doing right there and then it would blow bubbles on the screen my daughter wasn't as strong so mummy had to help her which was really cool but in general it was just a really really nice place um, I did get one family photo but my daughter wasn't having it she was in a bad mood but we did manage to get a photo together which is always cool um, and then obviously our, always we do this before we walk towards the camera yay <laughs> Um, this one was a bit odd, but you have to throw a ball at the screen. So I'm hoping my son doesn't get any ideas. Um, this room is amazing. The minute I walked in, you just get this sense that you're in a vast area. It felt like we were in space. Um, it was really cool and just a really, really just, it was just nice to just experience sort of the VR, that virtual reality world that, you know, you don't always see. And actually a nice little lovely picture for the missus. She actually thought I was taking a picture so actually um, that was quite funny then we got some nice photo opportunities and uh, my kids got in the bath and then the missus got in as well with the rubby duckies uh, now I had to do a photo shoot with the missus she's gorgeous I love her yeah so we did that which was really cool as well um, and then obviously there was a balloon shot now I wanted to get in it as well but we didn't get a chance to but I managed to make sure the kids did it and that's what I'm gonna probably use as a thumbnail for this video yeah see I love the way she acts she's good yeah it was actually a really good show good place to visit the kids had a fantastic time um, the light shows were absolutely amazing um, and it just felt like you were you know just in an infinity room where the lights were on and it was just really cool and I definitely recommend it I would say you have definitely got to check it out and if you're around and you got the time check it out um, this place was um, a little bit expensive for us but you could basically pay to have a VR um, headset but I didn't think the kids would really appreciate it um, and to be honest with you, it was quite an expensive place to visit. Um, so we, we, to be honest with you, we were on a bit of a tight budget, so we didn't manage to go. But it was still great, and I'm really glad that we were able to um, at least see it. Um, the bubbles, oh my goodness, my kids chased them for ages, um, which was so fantastic, because I knew they'd sleep in the car. But uh, it was just really cool. They were, you know, they had to sort of go, go into this sort of place where they would, you know, pull on a string or a bit of rope, and they would create a bubble around them. No, actually, it was really, it was actually quite difficult. He needs to be a little bit taller than me. The boys, the boy tried, and he did really well, to be honest with you. Um, I ended up having to go in, but um, I, I set my camera up the wrong way, so you can't see that I've got the, the bubble all the way at the top. And then I did it for my daughter as well, because I didn't want to be missing out. But yeah, you had to have, you, you had to sort of have a sort of a forward motion and keep going. My missus did it as well with Kayla, which was nice. So, Mrs. Morrison. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what did you think of Bubble Planet? Give me your in-depth review of everything that you experienced in Bubble Planet today. I thought it was a really good experience. I think it was amazing, very yeah. different, so much fun for the kids. Yeah. 
Yeah. It was just a pain when you have to queue for things, but I mean, you have to queue, otherwise some people might not get a turn, so at least that way it's fair. Okay. But um, there did seem to be a lot of queues for things, picture opportunities, and I feel like that's a bit of annoying. If you could just walk free, that was good. Yeah. Um, but obviously when people are waiting and you're queuing, and then it's your turn, mm -hmm. you want to get your shot. You're like, I've paid money to come here, <laughs> I want to get my shot. And then you've got someone going, can you just take a few more goes? And then, because you know, there's a long queue, it's like, I get it, but I want my shot. <laughs> like, they just have to wait. Okay. But. Prices? Yeah. Disgusting. Oh. £7.50 yeah. for a, a bubble tea. Yes. Like a cup of fruity juice. Seven pounds. Disgusting. And the mugs were like I water fifteen in. pounds. The notebooks were nine pounds. Twelve pounds for a bubble, like a little bubble one stick. Oh, I didn't even. Twelve pounds. I Very took expensive. when I obviously the minute I paid for the drink, I said I am not even going into the gift shop. There is no need. It was a rubbish gift shop. Oh, was it? There was literally just hats, it's, it's, shirts, that's interesting. notebooks, and mugs. Oh, really? And they were just so much like ridiculous. See, that's the funniest thing. A place like that, you would think that they would, you know, really go to town. I thought there'd be loads of bubbles. Yeah, and loads. Like pools and <coughs> things. I suppose they'd missed a trick on that yeah, one. The gift shop could be so much better, but there, right. it was too expensive anyway. Yeah, if it was a little bit more reasonable, then maybe we would have had a, a memento to take home with us. Yeah. Alas, £7.50. Just for a bottle of drink. Was enough this to. This is our memento. That's our moment. We will. So we'll, why don't we... in it or something. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, <laughs> that would be cool. plastic, so they'll fall out. But... Yeah. But for a family of four, um, it's, you know, it's, as you said, it's the average price now that you're going to pay for going out. Um, you know, fortunately, Kayla hasn't hit four yet. We are walking past the mighty, the amazing Wembley Stadium. Thankfully, it's on a non-football day. So there's nothing going on, which is cool. So it's very quiet. And uh, yeah, Brandon, what car park are we going to? The pink. Good boy, we are going to the pink car park. So I'll call that a day. Thank you very much. If you like what you see, please uh, consider liking the video and hitting the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, and thank you very much for watching. So take care, people. Peace out.